that the building is the church. If nothing else, the coronavirus has taught us that, that the building isn't the church. Because if that was the case, the coronavirus stopped the body of Christ. Let me share with you what the coronavirus did. It, it stopped religious people from being attracted to a building. Mm. Let me tell you what else the coronavirus did. It separated the religious people. Ah, thank you, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord, this morning. It helped separate the religious folks who are attached to the building from the people who have a relationship with God and are attached to the body of believers. Amen. Amen. So while the building may be closed, the real church told the coronavirus, you can't stop us. Amen. We will meet in the parking lot. We will meet in the drive through We will meet at the park. We will meet in a house if we have to. Amen. But bring it on, virus. Amen. You can't stop us. While the religious folks are saying, church is canceled because the laws say no more than 10 people can meet. But the real church, which is the body of the believers, body. said, the head of our body, the brain of our body said, for where two or three are gathered, gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Yes. Jesus said, I don't need a lot to be on the scene. If two or three are together in my name, I will show up and show up. Amen. So now we understand that the church or Jesus' body is not the building, but it's actually the people who believe in his name. Amen. Those, that's, that's who the body 